Lynch. And this is Lynch's Pharmacy Health video series. This video is on colds and flu. So the common cold is probably the most common condition that you see during the winter in Ireland. Now unfortunately there's no cure for a common cold. So all we can do is treat the symptoms, which means that it's very important that the questioning of a pharmacist to the patient is thorough and accurate in order to find out exactly what the patient needs. Fortunately, there are lots of products to treat these symptoms. Apart from those products, <clears throat> it's important for the patient to increase their fluid intake if they have a cold or flu. Increase it to more than what they usually take and obviously as well to keep warm. The common cold should clear within a week um, or a maximum of two weeks. If it goes on longer than this, you're looking to go and see your GP or maybe treat, maybe even treating it in a different way. If it goes on long for longer than two weeks, it's quite possible it's also due to allergies. So it could be a touch of hay fever. Either way, it's important for a pharmacist to know how long it has been going on and if it does seem to be going on for a long time you could be referred or treated in a different manner. So if we start with a sore throat, the vast majority of sore throats are going to be due to a viral infection. 70-80% are going to be viral but will go away in a couple of days or a week. Just to make sure there's nothing more serious you could Take a look at your throat. If it's very red or very inflamed, or there are white spots at the back of the throat, you might want to go and see your GP. But as I've said, most of the, <coughs> most of the time they're not serious, <coughs> and we go the symptoms will go away in a couple of days. In the meantime, there are plenty of products available to treat pain. Probably the most effective is Diflam spray or Septidine spray. And they contain an anaesthetic which basically numbs the pain. It can be used in all ages and in adults you can use four to eight puffs a couple of times a day so it's very effective. Then we have strepsils which is a lozenger and the benefit of any lozenger is that they can stimulate the flow of saliva in the mouth which has a soothing action on the throat. Some of them have antibacterial agents in them the benefit of which is debatable seeing as most throats are viral infections so antibacterial agents aren't going to be that effective but they do work for a lot of people so there's a plain strepsils of various different flavors and one lozenger every two to three hours there's a strepsils plus which is an anesthetic in it and only over 12s can use this <clears throat> one, again, one lozenge every couple of hours to a maximum of eight in a day. The strepsils intensive is by far the strongest of all the strepsils range. And there are others besides this. Strepsils intensive contains fluorobiprofen, which is a drug of the same family as ibuprofen. So it's a neurofen. So there's very good anti-inflammatory and pain-killing properties in the strepsils intensive and again by far the strongest for that reason. You must be over 12 and don't take more than five in a day. Other lozenges include there's a Merisit, which contain an antibacterial agent. So probably not the best way to go if you have other symptoms of a common cold. So if you're sneezing or you have a runny nose, along with a sore throat, it's more than likely viral infection. So an antibacterial agent isn't going to do much. But if, just, if it is just an isolated sore throat, then they may work well. So the Merricane are similar. They have the same antibacterial agent, but also have an anesthetic agent in them as well. And again, must be used over 12 years of age and a maximum of eight in a day. Apart from these, if the throat is very sore, they may need some simple analgesia or simple painkillers like paracetamol. You take two, four times a day to a maximum of eight in a day or for children a maximum of four in a day. So just take one four times a day as opposed to two. Or just some ibuprofen, a maximum of six tablets in a day and not for children under 12. Congestion is another common side effect of the common cold. 
and probably the most debilitating one as well. But there are lots of products to help relieve congestion. And the three main ones, I suppose, are Sudafed, Sinutab and Actifed. These all contain the same decongestant, which is pseudoephedrine. Pseudoephedrine acts by constricting the inflamed vessels in the nose, shrinking them back down to normal size and thereby reducing the congestion in the head. The important thing with pseudoephedrine or any product containing pseudoephedrine is that before you sell or before a patient buys it, they must make sure they're not on any hypertensive medication or that they don't, you don't have a history of hypertension. <clears throat> the reason being that you have these constrict the nose, there's a good chance they'll constrict blood vessels everywhere else in the body. So if you have high blood pressure, the last thing you want is your blood vessels being constricted and that blood pressure being increased even more. So, so any product containing pseudoephedrine, and a lot of these products do, always make sure that the, first of all, you're not on blood pressure tablets before you take one. So Sudafed is just plain pseudoephedrine. It can be used in over 12s. There's nothing else in it except a decongestant. Sinutab has pseudoephedrine in it. It also has a bit of paracetamol. So it's handy if there's a headache or a bit of fever going with the symptoms. It can be used in over sixes. Actifed has pseudoephedrine in it and also has an antihistamine. This is an excellent product for congestion with a runny nose. Anything with an antihistamine will dry up a runny nose or any excess mucus. So the Actifed is a decongestant and an antihistamine. But along with the antihistamine comes drowsiness. So there's a possibility of drowsiness with Actifed. For use in over 12s, it also comes in a liquid, which can be used from two years of age and up. Um, Ilvico is a handy product for people who need a decongestion but do have a history of hypertension or are on hypertension medication. They can take this, it works well for congestion and it won't interfere with high blood pressure medicine. So next you've newer from cold and flu and salpidine cold and flu or salpicinus. The neurofin cold and flu has ibuprofen and pseudoephedrine, so very good anti-inflammatory properties in that works well for people with bad congestion. The salpicinus has paracetamol and pseudoephedrine, similar to sinutab, and it also has a cough suppressant called falcadine in it. So if you have a bit of a cough, that might be a handy product. Uniflu is a popular product, as is Benlin for flu. These are combination products. There's three or four ingredients in each of these. They're a mixture of antihistamines, decongestants, and paracetamol. Uniflu has caffeine and vitamin C in it as well. And Uniflu can be used from 12 years of age and up. Benlin for flu can be used from six years of age and up. And for any of these products that contain paracetamol, it's always important not to take any other paracetamol containing products while you're on paracetamol. Like Lempsip has always remained popular. Plain Lempsip contains 500 milligrams of paracetamol. So one Lempsip sachet is the same as one Panadol tablet or paracetamol tablet. It also contains vitamin C and it's really the heat and the lemon flavor and the vapors coming off that seems to help people with congestion and sinuses. The Lempsip Max sinus and flu is quite a good product. There's paracetamol and pseudoephedrine. So again, the same rules apply. Make sure you're not on heart medication, hypertension tablets before you take Lemsip Max, sinus and flu. The local decongestants are applied to the area affected. So they're nasal sprays. Artravine is one range. There's also a Sudafed nasal spray and a couple of others as well. The main thing with these is that they're not used for more than seven days. So if you have to use it beyond this, you can get a condition called rebound congestion. So it actually makes it worse. So seven days maximum, and they can be used from 12 years of age and up. One spray normally into both nostrils, three times a day generally does the trick. There are a lot of other products out there. And I say these are the main ones. So, and it's important to remember the points with pseudoephedrine. And if you're on hypertension medication or if you have high blood pressure um, 
there's no, again, there's no cure for the common cold. You just take paracetamol if needs be. You drink plenty of fluids, keep warm, and treat the symptoms as you need with these products. You won't be able to treat the common cold outside. There's no other products outside what you can buy over the counter in a pharmacy. So if you have any questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy up in Broaddale and Mary Braille in Douglas and Cork. Thank you for watching.